Hello, my name is Corey and I'm from Canada and right now I'm living in Calgary, Alberta and I'm taking a Master of Engineering in Me uh, Mechatronic and Cyber-Physical Systems at Degendorf Institute of Technology. So the school is in Germany and I'm doing it remote because of COVID. So I can do it from Canada and uh, today I'm going to talk about some of the some of the topics that are uh, in the program. Um, basically it's it's all about you know industry 4.0 the fourth industrial revolution um, internet of things so everything kind of um, connected right like having um, smart cities with autonomous public transportation that um, know the demand know the schedule um, all in it on the AI kind of um, smart system uh, another cool thing that I've kind of uh, learned or was looking into is um, smart man manufacturing, smart factories. So not just, you know, ro robots have been in uh, manufacturing for years and years, but having it smart. So having like knowing the, knowing the demand of what they're manufacturing to increase or decrease how much they're manufacturing and having um, a live feedback into what they're actually um, producing. So these are all um, pretty interesting, pretty interesting things of things I've looked up on kind of my own um, research. Uh, one of the classes I'm taking is uh, called Case Study Mechatronic Simulation. So our, we have a group project, full semester um, group project, and it's using MATLAB. We have to create a simulation using pure MATLAB, not Simulink, which I've come to realize it's kind of going to be more intense than I thought. But then, you know, because Simulink is pretty common and it's a little bit, it's like a GUI um, graphic user interface to be able to render the simulation. The other way we have to do it all with code and geometry and create it ourselves. But um, the simulation is of uh, gear tooth pointing. So to manufacture the pointing up. So the, the gear is already manufactured. And then each tooth has to be uh, pointed in a certain uh, way to allow the gears to mesh um, a lot better. So it, the tool has to rotate on, with two um, cutting tools, rotates like this, and then the workpiece rotates as well. So it's um, using a five axis uh, milling machine. So we have to create um, the simulation in MATLAB and then the CNC code to, to allow for this tool path to actually work. So that's probably the most um, intense uh, uh, class I have so far. It's, it's going to be quite um, intensive. So, and then uh, another class we have is uh, advanced robotics. But we haven't even really started it yet. Right now we're just doing a refresher course of uh, dynamics. Um, it's uh, just an undergrad class that I thought they should do, just so everyone is at the same page. Because not everyone. Um, in the program is to mechanical engineering. They took either some of some people took electrical or software or computer. So they kinda put everyone on the same pace and uh and um and but it's that one's pretty intense too, but it's kind of like it's not really for marks, it's just kind of refresher and then the advanced robotics will have the actual content. And he said that the final exam for advanced robotics might have two or three um questions from dynamics kind of thing, but it's good to fully understand it, so it's one other intense one. And, uh, and then there's two classes that are the same professor. It's kind of like the same class, but they're two different ones. And there's a presentation for that in it to, to kind of talk about. It's called business models, so um, for CPS, for cyber physical systems. And my topic is globalization, so I'm... And we kind of brainstorming on like supply chain, so like the economy of scale, like you say, you can get from um, globalization. But having it like I was thinking, like same thing as the the the, the smart manufacturing, have a smart um, uh, supply chain, so you could have like uh, predictions of fashion trends, so they know when they're going to be, so they can be manufactured and produced by the time the trend comes out. They can be in stores that have to take a lot of um, data, machine learning, and uh, um, or um, not just fashion, but anything like if it takes say six weeks to, to, 
um, to get manufactured and produced in Asia, and it's going to be so, sold in uh, um, uh, Europe. You could have that um, predictive and have it all smart and live, and um, um, and have feedback for for the whole system. So that's kind of what I'm going to talk about in that presentation. But I haven't done much of that. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a really really good course and. Uh, um, see how it goes. I, I was getting into software development for um, about two years now, first starting with HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and then getting more Python. And then recently it was more Python with um, data visualization and machine learning. And then now this course is, uh, well, it's, it's going to be pretty intense. Pretty excited about it. Get in there and uh, see, what I can, see what I can learn. Anyways, I think that's all going to be me for all for today so um yeah till next time